Good morning, everyone. Welcome to join us once again on this trip report. Today, we're flying from Beijing Capital International Airport to Guangzhou Bio International Airport in South China. It is 6 a.m. in the morning, and we're currently in Terminal Three at Beijing Airport、uh, on board this domestic flight. So, the layout of Terminal Three: it's、uh, domestic flight leaves at Terminal Three C and Terminal Three D, with an international departure on Terminal Three E. Today, we're leaving Gate Charlie. 37, which is、uh, from C area, scan our boarding pass, and we pass through security. The security isn't that busy early in the morning, so we can go to the、uh, Air China lounge because we have go kart access. The overall、uh, lounge was decent. It's a little bit crowded at this time in the morning, and、uh, the lounge area it's、uh, decent as well. Not very big. Not too much of privacy places, but there's a dining place and a、uh, rest area. It is early in the morning, but it's during the breakfast hours, so the lounge offers、uh, some hot and cold food with congees and variety of drinks. And we have eggs here, and some snacks、uh, with traditional Chinese breakfast with rice. And the temperature of these food is pretty pretty good, and、uh, the quality is decent. Uh, as well, so we're departing from Charlie Thirty Seven today. It is the uh, last uh, jet bridge on the terminal, so it's kind of a quick walk. It took us about、uh, 15 minutes to walk from the、uh, security to the gate. As you can see, our flight bound for Guangzhou is waiting for us. The boarding process was good, and the Air China uses the、uh, group boarding system, which makes the boarding pretty efficient and、uh, pretty organized. So here's our aircraft, their Airbus A330-300, a 70-year-old aircraft, will fly us today to Guangzhou. It's a beautiful morning today here in Beijing, and、uh, reporting forecasting good departure conditions. However, we are expecting some light to moderate turbulence along the route due to、uh, some thunderstorm along the way. So overall, it's a kind of good day for flying. It is very common for、uh, airlines to put these wide-body aircraft onto Beijing Guangzhou route, as as it's、uh, pretty busy, especially during the peak season now in the summer. So it's basically the airlines put seven to nine wide-body aircraft each day to fly these these routes. I don't know if they are trying to offer newspapers before boarding, but there's only one newspaper down there, so I didn't know what was going on. There is a little bit congested、um, uh, at the、uh, boarding gate when the、uh, cabin crew check the boarding passes of each passengers, but the overall boarding went pretty well. So in Air China, the economy has two sections: the premium economy and an economy. And in economy, it has a two-four-two configuration on this Airbus A330-300. This is a quite old version of the seat. As you can see, the seat pitch is quite good. The legroom is quite good. But、um, as you can see, the age of the aircraft from the access panel of the audio, and there's no personal television on board. However, there's a PTV box. Below us, I'm not sure what it's for because there's no TV for individuals. However, there's a big box right there, and there's no TV for the entire aircraft. So for the safety demonstration,、uh, it was done by the crew using the uh, uh, PA. It's early hours in Capital International Airport, so the、uh, uh, the air traffic is not that kind of busy. We taxi to the、uh, runway pretty quickly, and、uh, it was almost a on time departure. So the flight time today to Guangzhou is around two hours and fifty minutes, and we're expecting to climb all the way up to thirty-eight thousand feet. As right now, we are lining up runway zero one, the east runway of the Beijing Capital International Airport. And、uh, the weather condition was great, with great visibility, clear sky, and wind is pretty light with high pressure. So it should be a pretty smooth departure. As you can see, the lines building up on the taxiway as 
with the hours approaching 8 o'clock, uh, rush hour, and more and more planes uh, ready to depart. Our aircraft is pretty heavy today due to the cancellation yesterday because of the thunderstorm around the uh, southern part of China. So each and every seal was fully booked in on this aircraft. As you can see, during the initial takeoff roll, it took quite a long time for us to get uh, to the takeoff power and speed up. And if you like this kind of video, I upload the separate video of the full takeoff uh, process. Uh, if you want to check it out, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the smash that thumbs up button. And you can check it out, that kind of video, um, in my channels as well. So that after departure, we flew the runway heading and then make an uh, initial right turn to turn towards the styles, as is the uh, normal departure route uh, for Beijing due to the restrictions area in the uh, west part of the airport and basically the entire city. So surprisingly, the captain of this flight uh, did a passenger announcement. Uh, the Chinese airlines rarely do this kind of things in before, but nowadays they are doing pretty great. And the captain even did the announcement, the captain speaking in Chinese and English versions, which is pretty good. So the complimentary drinks and meals are served in this flight. For this two and a half hours flight, uh, we've got one complimentary meals, uh, which is has a choice of either Western or Eastern. I ordered a Western today, which has some eggs, uh, some fruits, and a bread with a yogurt. Now let's check it out what we have in the seat pocket. As we can see, we have a headset, a sick bag, and a magazine, and a safety card. And there's a little pocket there for small things such as the uh, smartphones, etc. Due to there's no PTV, we can't really evaluate the entertainment system as of right now. But um, let's check it out the uh, in flight magazine. The large amount of portion of the magazine is uh, advertisement for different companies. However, there's uh, some contents regarding the aircraft and the airline at the back of it. So we just uh, skip through that, going to check that part of the magazine out. As we can see, the Air China is uh, proudly advertising its Airbus A350-900. It's the latest version, most advanced uh, Airbus aircraft the Air, uh, that the Air China purchased. As we can see here is the uh, business class of the 350, which has the one-to-one -one configuration and uh, with reverse born design. And here is the premium economy class and the seat map of the Air, Ch uh, of the, uh, the Air China's 350-900, which concludes of 312 seats in total. And here is the network of Air China with uh, its Star Alliance partner. Today we're flying from Beijing to Guangzhou, which is among the thousands of thousands of flight uh, of Air China. Uh, right here is the Air China's network in European countries, and as to the right is the Air China flight to North America. Air China is also part of the Star Alliance and Partners, so they use Phoenix Miles uh, program. And here's the safety card of this Airbus A330-300. Is the uh, general safety instructions down there. The card appears to be pretty old and not very clean, but it's still readable. And all right, that concludes the flight. Uh, from Beijing to Guangzhou. So overall, it's a routine two and a half hour hop between two big cities inside China. And uh, the services is Standard Air China services, uh, providing meals and complimentary drinks on this short flight, which is pretty good compared with the uh, European carriers or American carriers, uh, which they are now canceling this kind of services. 
The cabin crews was very, very helpful. They took care of each and every passengers really well with a lot of engagement with the passengers, taking care of the children, and as well uh, walking around the aisle every 10 or 15 minutes, even in economy class, just to see if anyone need anything, and uh, which they did wonderful service uh, on this flight. Touchdown was smooth, and welcome to Guangzhou, everyone. And uh, we'll definitely fly once again on Air China, and please expect them to see a new release video of Air China Business Class on my way back to Beijing from Guangzhou. And once again, if you like this channel, please do not forget to subscribe it, smash the thumbs up button, and uh, if you like to see my video of me piloting my Cessna as a pilot, it's also in my channel as well. So please subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and uh, we'll see you someday soon. Have a good day.